All right, yeah, I should be going to sleep. Um, and actually, Leo was playing with these dice. Um, I'm just trying to do a lot of things in my head quickly. There's actually been a ton of videos I've uh, made I just haven't posted because I'm like, um, they're more for, you know, whatever. And I'm like, okay, if this gets posted, it gets posted. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I just keep talking about talking the same way anyways. Um, so these things, I finally picked up a set. I'm sorry if the music in the background, uh, you can hear it, but that's the way it goes. Um, because like I said, I'm just doing um, the thing here. And I don't have my headphones. I just had a beautiful hot shower. Oh, gosh. Anyways, uh, I don't like that bicycle thing at all. Um, but my grandfather on my dad's side had a set of these as a kid. And it just blew me. I didn't understand what they were. I think I saw, you know, like it was like four or five or whatever. And I had no idea. All I remember is like they're different than the other dice. And um, no one ever explained them to me or whatever. And... It was just one of those things I've never uh, picked up and I've always wanted to have a set and I saw them at the dollar store. I was like, what the hell? So I picked, uh, picked some up and then I showed them at work yesterday and somebody is mentioning, um, oh, they're like poker dice or something. I said, yeah, I guess. And um, blah, blah, blah. We talked about that. I said, I've never played poker in my life, so I don't know um, anything. Like I under, you know, obviously watched movies and stuff and whatever. I under, I know the game exists. Um, and then he was like, oh, there's a game I used to play, or we still play occasionally in the cottage, called uh, Captain, Sailor, and Ship. And I guess it's a 6, 5, and a 4. It's kind of like a, a, a version of Yahtzee. And I went, I, trust me, I try to reskin everything into a World War I themed game like you have no flipping clue. It's just crazy. On a side note, oh my god, did I watch a freaking lecture and a half tonight. It, well, I'm, I'm going to watch it again this week, and I'm certainly going to be talking about it at the live stream. Holy crap! Was it good? It was by Diane Atkinson about um, um, uh, two, uh, two women. Oh, I forget. I'll talk about it later, man. It was just incredible. Anyways, I was thinking, you know what? I'm going to try to reskin these into something like... Um, Maybe, uh, I, I don't know what to call them yet, but I'm just going with this now. Uh, troops, guns, and shells or something. But I, I want, don't want to make it strictly whatever. And I was like, why don't you bring in some card games, take a look at some Yahtzee or whatever, and see if you can, you can use cards as reserves. That would be totally cool. So maybe there's, uh, and it would be um, um, a trivia thing. So that's where your skill thing, and you would have a choice of a uh, true or false, a multiple choice, or, um, I don't know, I, I don't, <laughs> I haven't gone that far yet, but uh, that's where I would like to go. And then you only have, uh, and you're only allowed to use one category, perhaps. I don't know, like I said, this is early stuff, but uh, I was like, yeah, let's try something like that. So it's not just completely, strictly skill stuff. And I mean, come on, like I said, this is just off from my head uh, before I go off. And I don't, like I said, I don't even know if I'm posting these things. Um, this book has just been beyond dynamite. Just absolutely, I don't even. I don't even know where to start with this thing. Um, and um, I could talk forever, man. Um, I'm just gonna say that the Ottoman. Uh, a lot of the things with my cancellation of the, of the Dardanelles and the Gallipoli campaign and all that stuff um, it makes a lot of sense after what I was reading tonight. Not from this, actually, from another uh, source. And uh, I was, my jaw hit the floor. I went, oh my God. And they even talked about Gaza as the alternative. I was like, what the hell? Like they were even saying that Gaza made way more sense to attack that right off the bat. Uh, this source is what I'm saying. I was just like, oh my God. It's like right off, like it's exactly what I was doing, uh, this bit. Um, and I, I didn't know. I mean, you know, cheaper something. What do you want from me? Um, you know, it's just neat when these connections occur. I'm always like, oh my gosh, this is so neat. Um, yeah, that's it. Um, I don't know if I'm posting or whatever. I, like I said, I just like to uh, connect some whatevers um, into my head. Um, boink. That's about it. Um, yeah, the journal writing's been going absolutely just freaking fantastic. It's just been... But I will say... Oh, thank God I did this video. Um... Because uh, I keep forgetting about uh, writing this down, or, or like I, it's in my head, but I, I don't um, transcribe it into some kind of other form. Um, 
is I need to get a monster whiteboard or something. I'm using those little whatever, um, you know, index cards all over the flipping place. But I need uh, to start drawing stuff and um, there's, like, there's just so many projects that are falling off to the side. So I was thinking if I can categorize things into crafting, uh, grand strategy, um, you know, mini game, uh, rules reading, um, looking at other games, live stream, uh, you, uh, you know, uh, that way I can say, and then I can, you can also interconnect them. Uh, I think it would be a great uh, a great way of looking at stuff. Um, yep, that's about it. Damn you, damn you to hell work. I will though, before I'm going to say this about damn you to hell work. Um, a, I am, I don't know if I mentioned it in a previous video, I have no idea. Like I said, I, I'm making videos and I don't uh, post uh, all of them, not even close. Um, is that I am extremely privileged to have my job and like I said, I've groused about this many a time. Um, about work and on a, that's why I was like okay you really do need to properly go to sleep and be a proper employee or whatever is that um, man I'm really happy with my new supervisor um, um, this person is just um, I, I, I she seems to really respect me and so on and so forth so I, I'm like and look let's be honest everybody takes liberties everyone including her uh, up down all around but there's a difference between taking the piss and you know and taking liberties and um, as far as I'm concerned I don't want to take the piss with her uh, I'm sorry if that's uh, whatever but that just makes sense for me that type of um, uh, way of saying it that's it I hope you're having a great time um, I'm really excited by this uh, <laughs> like I said every time I see something relatively simple to reskin I'm like okay let's turn this into 19 but it's also that's the other thing about doing this thing is um, I was like okay I don't want to just make reskin and make something just straight straight up gaming if I added the cards as your reserves um, that then your uh, the players are getting a bit of um, history or knowledge and not even knowing it kind of thing. Oh my god, on the flip side I'm starting to clue in too, is that uh, I can I couldn't, it's like this, you know, the yin yang thing. Oh my god, I didn't ever clue in that, uh, you know, you're, um, we've mentioned before about gaming, um, you know, as a great gateway or a great way of teaching um, history. But I'm, uh, uh, on the flip side, I'm like reading about history every five freaking seconds and want to go game it. Um, so, you know, z it, you see what I mean? Like, in the other, oh, this is wicked. All right. Oh, oh, Jesus. I think I hit the table with my leg. See ya.